my name's Nigel. Uh, I was uh, part of Aprons for Gloves last year, just walking into the new gym for the first time. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I didn't realize it was this big. Last year, some guys come around the restaurant and they're saying, hey, we're going to start this boxing thing. It's for a cause. And then you meet Dave. He's a guy with a job, a full-time job. In his spare time, he's, uh, he trains people to box. Part of that program is to train inner city kids. You can sort of see what people are dealing with. People, kids coming religiously and participating. The fundraising, the time commitment, the three or four days a week of training. It was like having another job for three months last year. Like it was so much commitment and so much uh, of your family. You have to, you know, you, you have to have a lot of support. We were kind of taken from just like sloppy humans to, you know, fighting machines. I lost a lot of weight, yeah. I don't know, 20, 20 something pounds. Honestly, I can't even imagine. Holy shit. Walking into the gym and doing a training session these days. <laughs> I can't imagine it. I don't know what, I would fall apart. I've been to a lot of amateur shows, you know. I fought in a lot of amateur shows and just, it was just the, the, the whole production and the way all those guys fought. I was, I was happy, I was entertained, I was happy with the way, you know, I mean, it wasn't just a slugfest. It was actually some, you know, skill to it. It was, it was good. It looked so good. Like we, I was impressed. I was impressed with the production. I was impressed with the venue. I thought like everyone looked like real boxes. Like there wasn't really any bad fight. The audience, I think, were expecting, you know, like a, a fun boxing show, and they actually saw some really great examples of uh, really good quality amateur boxing from a lot of people that put in a huge effort, and tried really, really hard to get where they were. I watched them last year from the tryouts to the when they actually fought. Big difference. Uh, they surprised me like how much they learned in those few months that they trained. Peers and friends and co-workers and, and just, you know, regular customers or just people that knew me all had something to say because they, you know, the, the exposure was huge. You know, it wasn't just being at the actual event, which some people still think is one of the best community-oriented events they've ever been to. People seem to really enjoy it. I'm excited about this year too. I'm excited to see what it's like. of the Woodland Commissary on uh, commercial and pender. And uh, it's a huge space, a lot of potential. Today, we're, we're sitting in, in the manifestation of, of all of those elements all together. You know, it does feel good to, to be a small part of it. We, you know, the fundraising side, lots of people working pretty hard to, to make something happen. The first time we got a chance to see the gym was awesome. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful space. It's great, it's, it's kind of an empty space. I don't know if you guys have been up there. It needs a little bit of love. Um, that's kind of what this year is gonna be for. We're really looking forward to kind of putting in, putting in a little elbow grease this year. This is expensive. This gym, like we saw this place, how are we gonna pay for it? Last year got the ball rolling on what we want to do. We were able to find a space, and uh, now it needs to be fleshed out. We need to make it a legitimate gym that the general public can come to and uh, feel safe, secure. I was uh, given the, the task of shepherding the new project through the city hall and working on the design of the boxing gym. There's still quite a lot of work to be done. Uh, we have uh, some exiting requirements from the city that have to be resolved. Most importantly, there's a series of change room facilities that need to be installed. Uh, there's also different equipment uses. Uh, we're looking at increased uh, training areas, providing a little more uh, sense of entry to the, to the gym. And I think continuing the momentum of what we've been able to accomplish in 2012 will be fantastic for the East Side Boxing Gym. It's uh, a way for us to be able to give the community something that I think gives back to them tenfold. You know, people that come into the gym learn a lot about themselves. We need a proper place for people to go. And we're halfway there right now, and we need to get the other half. Give me at least 
one. Show me one. Chris Betts, Chen Wei is going to be a, a hell of a rematch. Um, that's kind of my number one goal. It's kind of something, you know, I've, you, you saw the fight, you know. <laughs> you know that Betts wants a rematch, especially after he got handed the belt and then they took it out of his hands again. I think uh, Betts feels like he got a raw deal when they announced his decision the wrong way and then uh, took the belt from him. So I think you're going to see a lot more uh, intensity from Chris Betts. And it could have gone either way. It was a good fight. I won, lost. That <laughs> kind of sucks. <laughs> so um, I've kind of been spending the, you know, this this year thinking about it. Here we go. At the Cobalt after party, and it's me and Chen Wei shaking hands with Dave Coach behind us with the official rematch. Rematch, rematch, fucking rematch. That's right. Chen Wei, I'm on a rematch. I haven't had time to go train, but hopefully everything's more settled by next week. Why? What are you busy with? Uh, doing my own little project at the stall at a stall at the night market right now in Chinatown. So that's taking a bit of time myself and my partner. Got a little chicken on rice stall called Winner Winner. Yeah, I just can't wait to actually you know get back into the gym so I can get a little more workout going. Yeah, you gonna defend your title? Yeah, I think so. But as of right now, like. It's 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 pretty slim my time, but you know I'll I'll see how it goes. I just don't have time to think of like anything else because this is all I'm worried about these days. Sixty waters. By next week we should be able to go back to the normal schedule again. So a little hipster sweater. I think Jake's cocoon has the same one. I'm having a baby. Uh, well, not me personally. My my girlfriend Kelly is having is having a baby. That that happened after the fights, um, not very long after the fights, I guess. It's actually due three days. Um, definitely, definitely a huge, huge impact on my life. Um, couldn't be more happy, definitely. I mean, it's so close. We're just basically waiting right now and I've read my books. We've talked to the midwife, we talked to, we have a doula. I just really want it to, to come, yeah. That's where I keep all my boxing stuff, too. I, I look at it as, as gonna be my outlet. You know, it's, I kind of, you know, baby, Baby boxing work, or you know, and maybe you know, baby work boxing. I don't know, but those those three things are going to consume my life. We'll see what it's like when when the baby's here, how much time I have. But I really want to make a an effort to, to keep training. Um, this is going to be my and my partner Ron Oliver's soon to be opened uh, restaurant in Chinatown, Mammy Taylor's. This has been you know the everything of my life for the last six to eight months. My free time which I never really thought I had very much of, has totally disappeared. Between this, between training, between working at Bonita still, because I need a, an income. I kind of feel like I'm training right now. Simon Cole back versus Chris Zaka. Of course, that's going to be a hell of a rematch. A great back and forth sort of fight. They both knock each other down. They're both kind of done. You know, I told him to get his hands up a lot. I, I tell him this every time I see him. He's probably sick of me saying it to him now. And so many people that have said, Yo, you should have had your hands up. You always keep your hands up. You keep your hands up. It was this. Ugh, it was fucking desperation. You know, I, I stand true to what I said last year that Chris was the best boxer in the whole event. The kid's got talent. It was humbling going in there, kind of toted as, you know, the guy to beat and, and getting beaten. It's heartbreaking, quite honestly. <laughs> you know, um, just I went home after that fight. I got really, really loser pissed and, uh, and came home and kind of destroyed some shit in my place because I was, I, was, I was frustrated, I was really pissed. It was definitely a, a lot harder to get the motivation to start training knowing how it ended last year, but also having, like, wanting to erase it in, uh, in just, you know, getting back into it. It was hard to get motivated because I was like, well, why am I, what am I here? What am I fighting for? I'm making time and I'm doing my best to put aside six to eight hours a week for training, but it's been difficult 
but I look at other people out there that have kids and work two jobs and still have time, and they, they still make time for their personal life. So this is, you know, it's about time management. It's not anything more than that. The infrastructure of the gym is, in a lot of ways, is like you're always a student, you're always a teacher. Within ourselves, it's difficult to see ourselves. That's why we all need a coach, no matter what level we're at. Even though, like you know, we're there for charity and stuff like that, there's a lot of pride and a little, little, lot of ego involved in boxing. I'm not doing this for anybody else. I think my my want to win again has not changed. It's actually greater. You know, winning last year is only to me is only good if I win again this year. That's why they have rematches in the pros. You want to see if a guy can learn and evolve and change from what he did the first time to the next time. Getting into the ring toe to toe with somebody, you know, you don't ever want to be the loser, and uh, I don't want to feel that again. I definitely think I would have won the fight. I feel healthier and stronger, and I'm a better boxer than I was last year. I do it three years in a row, then I'll retire.